Right, so you want to know about pinlock visors and you want to know how to use them. I'm going to show you how. And I've not tested this, I've not done it for ages, but it's probably about two years ago since I put a pinlock on. So I'm going to show you. And if there are any problems, we're going to find out. Anyway, pinlocks, great things. If you suffer from riding around with a foggy visor, you can use sprays and gungers to go on the, on the back, but pinlocks, in my experience, are worth the money. They tend to be about £30, $40, that kind of price. Um, and it's worth it it's, if you if you suffer with it it's worth it so this is a pinlock ready visor as you can see you can tell because there are little pins there now some companies I think it's LS2 do their own so don't get me stick double check with your retailer that it is pinlock ready but um, this one is a pinlock visor uh, and you can see the pins on both sides that's where you locate the pinlock inserts between and in this case, it's a, it's a Pinlock Max Vision. Uh, Pinlock's originals uh, didn't have a recess. You wouldn't really see a line around there. They look like a bog standard visor with a couple of pins in there. Uh, Pinlock Max Vision is designed to be bigger because you used to suffer if you've got a Pinlock on, sometimes if you're in a tuck position, you get the top of the Pinlock getting in your line of sight, which is a real nuisance. So they made it bigger. And they also put a recess on the back of the visor, which you can see around this one. Uh, for the pinlock to sit in, in so it won't move about. So pinlock max vision is the one to go for. They, these days they do three different grades, 30, 70 and 120 I think it is, uh, different levels of anti-fogness. Most of them tend to be 70 and that's fine for most general use. If you if you ride around at the top of, um, at the, top of the Himalayas all the time or if you're a racer um, you might want to go for a 120. I think they were really designed for racing. Um, but it's Pinlock 70, your bog standard pin, Pinlock these days, uh, which is what I've got here. <coughs> Comes like this, usually find you can buy helmets and they're included in the box, which is always nice. And they come in a, a little, um, little packet like this. And when you get them, they look a little something like that. Can you see? Not very clear, not very fog free. And I've seen quite a few comments from people saying, why is my pinlock yellow? It's rubbish. It's because it's got a, uh, a film over it that you need to peel off. It's there to stop it getting messy before you've fitted it. So uh, do remember to take off that yellowy tinted film. Okay, I'll put my glasses on for this. So what you need to do, like most blokes, I'm not going to look at the instructions. I'm going to figure it out myself, because I am capable of doing this, surely. Find the side which has got a little silicon rubber sealant around there, seal around there. That's the part that's going to fit snug up to the back of your visor. And without removing the, without removing the protective film on the back, you do that once it's fitted. What you do is, and it suggests, as I do remember this actually, you suggest kind of flattening out the visor while you do it which feels a little bit uncomfortable, so I don't want it to break, but anyway, should be flexible enough to, to deal with it. So, get the visor, you, the, uh, the pin lock, you can tell which way it's going to fit in, just for, you know, obviously that's the bottom of the visor, that's going to be the top. And shove the first little pin into, or the little hole, into the back of the pin, like that. That goes in nice, it kind of fits in position there and the whole uh, pin lock is now going to sit in that recess all around the back of the visor and you'll see it doesn't quite fit with this one at that end hopefully you'll see uh, and that's why you've got to straighten out the visor a bit to allow it to to seat properly and you can do it what I'm going to do is get it to seat in there and then straighten out the visor a bit And there we go, it's seated in place, you see that? Press it down a bit to make sure that the, the seal seals well. And then, hopefully, if it wasn't until you poke your pies, you should be able to then peel off this uh, yellow film at the back. Ta-da! And then things become clear, if you're one of those people who were riding around with the yellow film on the back of your pinlock. Happy days. Um, 
One final thing, if, if like me, you've wondered how the blinking, blinking egg does that work. Apparently, the material, I forget the technical term, but basically it, it does absorb the water. It doesn't just make it run off, like spitting on the back of your visor. <laughs> People used to reckon spitting on the back of your, your visor would uh, stop it fogging up. I'm not sure about that, but you know, it doesn't make it run off like putting washing up liquid on the back and so on. It actually absorbs it. That's why if you do wash out your pin lock, which you can do, Use, use kind of my, a bit of slightly soapy water, not too hot, wash it over, rinse it under the tap and then you'll have to leave it for quite a while because obviously it's been absorbing water so it has to um, evaporate from the surface. But you can wash them. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's the pin lock. If you don't ride with one and you're riding through a foggy visor all the time, it's worth the investment. Go for it.